guys, it's your boy Coded99 again and welcome back to my channel. On this episode of Codeversation, we'll be discussing why he or she will not commit. And I have my friends here with me. I have David here and I have Tanya. So I can refer to them as T and Double D. Just <laughs> take it as that it is. <laughs> Just take it as Thank it you is. so much for having me, man. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, that's right. You're welcome. Yes, please. <laughs> I hope we have an interesting conversation. So, um, yeah, the topic why he or she won't commit is, is you know, you've heard men has come every everywhere where men would date people for years and then they end up breaking up with the person and then the next maybe three months they are married to another person so <laughs> well, I, think, I, think, I, I actually think it goes both ways actually so we also mm -hmm. have the version of women has come so <laughs> okay <laughs> okay we'll talk about it later okay but but yeah i i, I would like to share you guys opinion on like what, what are the common reasons you guys think like people let me use people mm -hmm. don't want to commit in a relationship what, what do you think i would say Maybe I, I can speak for guys. Mm -hmm. I can say sometimes guys tend to be at a space where they want their life figured out a little bit mm -hmm. before yeah. they go into commitment. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this could be for marriage. But then there's another commitment for relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, what what do you guys think basically? You can go first. Okay, uh, for me, I think um, there are several reasons, and these reasons vary. You know, according mm -hmm. to people. Like you mentioned, um, I think there's this thing in the society right now where a lot of men think they have to be, you know, completely stable for them to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So you have men thinking that, okay, if I don't have everything I need to, you know, I need in my life right now, you know, well, like enough it's... money, mm -hmm. um, you know, like basically just being comfortable, mm -hmm. then um, I shouldn't, you know, take this relationship serious. Mm -hmm. So that that's one angle to it. And then we also have the angle of, where men just don't want to commit that's true. it it's, 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 it's pretty much true <laughs> it's pretty much straightforward true. you know you have someone who is like man you know what i don't think i want to be you know in this monogamous relationship or whatever mm -hmm. i just want to at this point in my life have fun true. You know? so mm -hmm. it happens that way you have people who think in that manner mm -hmm. and because of that you know it shapes everything that they do um they don't you know just get into a relationship for this point, at this point, because yeah, they sure. feel they don't want to. What do you think? Sure. Uh, first of all, uh, I think I agree with the, regarding mm -hmm. guys' position. Mm -hmm. When you, when you're not prepared, like maybe financially, mm -hmm. yet you might be ready for commitment emotionally mm -hmm. and mentally. But financially, if you just imagine yourself going to the girl's father mm -hmm. and say, like, I would like to take your daughter, <laughs> and father is asking you, like, okay, can you take care of my daughter? And you're like, ah. Uh, well, I have uh, some kind of 100 euros steep on the <laughs> steep end. Well, definitely you're not ready. So mm -hmm. such mentality is definitely pretty healthy. And I think it's a big motivation for you guys also yeah. to, to grind, to do more and more and more. But yeah. I have a question for you. Though. <laughs> okay. I have, a, I have a question. My question is, when will you ever be ready? You know, right now in the world, we have, we have this thing where everyone is saying we are equal partners or we are helpers to each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it's oftentimes more like in the place of the guy to always be the one that is ready, ready. Mm -hmm. you know, financially and stuff. Does that mean the lady also wouldn't get ready, or well, what, what exactly? Yeah, you didn't really interrupt me, but I didn't finish, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish listening to my points. Yeah. So okay, this is from the guy's perspective. Mm -hmm. From the lady's perspective, always, it's not always, but sometimes it also might come like, okay, I'm in this relationship, but I don't want it to get really serious mm -hmm. yet. I just want to have my fun, you know, and everything. But for some people, mm -hmm. they might be ready to commit easily. Why? Because they don't live with this mentality. If I want to commit, I want to commit for life. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. sure. Some people are like, mm, let's let's see how it is. Maybe this marriage will last like five, ten years, and I'm fine about it. Uh -huh. Well, for some people, it's okay. For ladies, definitely, we have pretty independent ladies. This feminist movement at the moment, uh -huh. equality. Some ladies might o uh, also think like, I'm not ready to commit yet because I didn't hit my career goals yet. Because marriage and kids, it's yeah, like not, it's not a full time job. Sure. Sure. We can't we can decide. I mean, deny it, right? Uh -huh. So. I think this could be the reason. So basically, I think with the way things are going right now, I think people focus too much on, you know, what I have not achieved, you know, what I have not gotten. And I think it's just an excuse, basically. 
mm-hmm. the human mind is always searching you know it's always like an antenna yeah, always you're, you're never going to be so always looking like, for something sure, to sure. connect to so i think we can easy the truth is if you want to commit you will commit Mm. Not just the truth about the matter. Excuse mm. my French. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> excuse my PG. This guy used to say, "Excuse my PG." Uh, I'm not speaking French. I'm like, like PG. I already talk. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like. Mm-hmm. You know, we, our mind is always connected to things. We're always thinking, okay, and maybe I should use this excuse of I want to achieve or I want to do this. The truth mm-hmm. is, you know, just one comment. Mm. That's just what I feel. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, you know, our yeah, so that's that's a, that's a good is a good truth. But I also think like it's not always like hundred percent of the time because even regardless of it, some don't even want to commit to, for instance, a relationship because of their past bad experiences. Yes. So yes. they're like, okay, I this person, I, I don't, I don't want to commit myself totally to this person. So let's just see how it goes, yeah. and like. Every point you've said, they are correct. But I also think this, this is another important. Even this is not even towards marriage now. This is towards relationships. Some are like, um, yeah, I like you. You like me, but let's be close friends. And I, but I don't want that title of a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I think also some people may not be maybe proud of the person they are. They may like the person mm-hmm. as a you know companion. Yeah. But as you said, they don't want to actually. Um, have that so people don't see them together and think uh, you guys are together but they don't want that title yet yeah. boyfriend or girlfriend or even husband or wife they don't want that title yet but I was I was just thinking yeah. um, in this you know this time that we, we are doing the thing time is wasting time is going like mm-hmm. when we are forming oh we don't want to we don't want to show what it is like commit and stuff mm-hmm. but oftentimes if you look at this thing it's often just one way one person mm-hmm. in a relationship really wants it to work. Mm-hmm. The other person is the one that suffers, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's just the thing, you know. Mm-hmm. We have a guy that is like, oh, or a girl that is like, oh, let's just remain friends. The other person is like, I really want this thing to work. Mm-hmm. And because they really want it to work, you know, they have this hope mm-hmm. that maybe along the line, okay. this person will fall in love yeah. with me. Yeah. And then we get to that point where finally, you know, Finally, today we are going to be testing the waters with you, mm-hmm. and I've now found the person. So, what happens to that person that you know has invested her time, her effort, her body, everything into this relationship? Mm-hmm. Or he is, yeah, yes, sorry, or he is. You know, it goes both ways. It, exactly. And of, I, I just, I just have to say, as human beings, whether we, are, we have this perception, mm-hmm. you know, we still have this thing where people, people begin to develop serious feelings and they fall and, and the other, but because you've gone too far with this person, you mm-hmm. tolerate the fact that he keeps telling you, I don't want something serious, let's just be... That's what will be for me. But you're doing every other thing. You're doing every other thing. You're giving your girlfriend benefits. Yes, I'm trying to do You know those kind of things. Your money, your time, your body, your, everything is going into the mm-hmm. relationship. So, I don't know, Jerry, man. The thing is. It's, it's, it's quite tricky, yeah. It's quite tricky. Some people give with this mentality that I need to have several partners before I finally commit also and they don't care uh-huh. how many people they might hurt on the yeah. way. They just want to hit this number, whether just as a partner per se or mm-hmm. in different like plans, like even sexually. Some people mm-hmm. will not be satisfied if it's just once in for life, right? Oh, true, so they will true. just be trying to... Keep and trying like, different people. Mm-hmm. Exactly, until like I will figure out what I like the most. You know? <laughs> so, and then you never figure out what you like the most. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. So, and uh, also because of these previous experiences, some people also might feel that, okay, that girl hurt me or that guy hurt me already, so let me do it to others too mm-hmm. until I get my revenge mm-hmm. and until I will be fully satisfied. And I think there is also another problem when people finish their relationships. Some mm-hmm. people don't take this time to to go through this healing process by yes. themselves. Yes, and yes, what yes. most of the people do they try to find this another person to just to fill those to fill in those gaps yeah. yes and it's filled at the moment they are satisfied but they don't really care that the person might be developing real feelings yes, at the them. moment mm-hmm. and then they will literally just throw away the person without really caring like what yeah. did they do mm-hmm. to him yeah I, I really like that perspective yeah. i yeah. think we also have we have we can also bring out a point from there where some people are still stuck with their ex 
so you can actually yeah <laughs> 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 <That's> syndrome <laughs> yes. yeah so you can actually be in a relationship with someone mm-hmm. else but you are still hooked and you are still chilling and waiting okay maybe this my ex will still think you about still me think mm-hmm. or give still think back. but let me just be with this person for now mm-hmm. yeah. and also use the opportunity to spite my ex you know she mm-hmm. sees that I'm, I'm happy in my new relationship True. she might want to get me back and stuff like mm-hmm. that when he wants to get me back so that also is a contributing yeah they are really inter- interconnecting but then what, what gender do you think is more let me use the word commitment phobia Male or female? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this is not a balanced vote here. We have two males. <laughs> I'm trying to be fair. <laughs> so, what gender do you think? Um, I'm certain. I'm certain that it's not. It's not fifty-fifty. So, what what percentage would you give? Mm. <laughs> I think I think okay. At least if I will be talking more, not less, a bit less from uh, geopolitical European perspective, yeah, but okay. in Eastern European, I do think that ladies are uh, ready to commit even earlier. Because if I will judge based on mm-hmm. my friends back home, I do have a feeling that right now I'm the only one who is not married and who doesn't have a kid yet. Mm-hmm. Most of my friends, their kids are like two, three, four years old mm-hmm. already. Some, I don't know, my, my might be divorced now. So, <laughs> But people do feel that they are re- really re- ready to commit early. I mean, ladies, but then they do feel disappointed. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, I don't want to go again into marriage perspective, but mm-hmm. yeah, I think ladies are, let's say, 60, 40. Mm-hmm. Such mm-hmm. kind of I, mean, okay. I think I agree with you, actually, funny enough, because um, that's just the world we live in at this point Mm -hmm. you know and also has to do with um how the society has programmed the male and the female you know the 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 guy from the beginning is taught to you know start thinking about making money start thinking about building a family Mm -hmm. start thinking about being you know the macho guy and you can do whatever you want to do and then the women have this kind of you know um is a perception or something put on them you know that you must train yourself to be better for your husband Mm -hmm. so with that kind of perception growing up all you want to do is just you know get in this relationship and Mm -hmm. be you know and be committed to it and stuff Mm -hmm. while the guy from the beginning was he hasn't been trained to actually also focus on On the relationship yeah yeah that's that's why we see this if, I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know if there's any official statistics to measure it, mm-hmm. but I kind of all agree that you know we have women being more committed than than, than men in relationships. Yeah. I think we can also add this age. Uh, of course, yes. not everybody arrives at the same time, mm-hmm. but we can say that guys are ready, more ready to commit after thirty, usually mm-hmm. like mentally mm-hmm. yeah. and no mm-hmm. k- kinds of manner. But ladies, like in their twenties, they're already. you know, it's easier, maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's totally, it's easier for a lady to sort of train herself or put herself in that position to want to be better for her future husband. Mm-hmm. But you see, it's not easy to make money. Mm-hmm. So yeah. guys end up spending like, if if the guy's excuse is money for instance, he spends time, he's 25 and he's like, I've not made enough money yet, <laughs> let me keep on trying. Spends another five years and be like, okay, now it's not about money. Then yeah, now let's find somebody. So I think yeah, it's really logical. And what signs? What signs can someone watch out for to know that someone is not ready to commit? What signs do you see to know that okay, this 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 guy, or this lady is a, is a time waster? Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, the truth is, I think when people get into relationships, they they tend to ignore most of the signs, but they're often very glaring, mm-hmm. you know? And you see the first dates, um, the first dates and the few dates you have after that would also tell you quite a lot of things about a person, True. you know? And we should, yeah, I saw this thing where a guy went out on a date and he asked the girl, what is your vision for the next five years? Ah, yeah. <laughs> and everyone was like, <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> These are things you should know from the beginning. Mm-hmm. If the truth is, if I'm getting into a relationship and I know that I want this thing to be something that is serious, 
I think I'll ask you that question on the very first date. Do you know this, like on the first date, when you're just uh, when you're just going out with the person for the first time, you, you start, start shooting this no, question? No, if I go out with you for the very first time, mm -hmm. that's me now. If it's I go out with you. <laughs> We're enjoying this. <laughs> That's going on. If I go out with you for the very first time, mm -hmm. yeah, this, I, I'm not kidding. These are things I want to know. Like, even if you don't go deeper, you don't have to tell me, you know, draw out the, draw the life plan and mm -hmm. tell me how your life is supposed to be in the five, next five years. Mm -hmm. But I want to know what, where do you see, you know, where do you see yourself? What, and then from there, because that's why when you're also going to, to, to look for a job, say, mm -hmm. where do you see yourself in the next five years in this company? Yeah. And the truth is, if you say the wrong thing, they'll not give you that job. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I can also see and test your, 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 your mental capacity and whatever it is that you, you think, the way you think about the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what do you think? Do you think um, this relation, if we start something, or it could not be the first date now, let's mm -hmm. say we started talking, mm -hmm. the girls were always fun now, they always face shoulder, mm -hmm. they are always, you know, they have to make it, they have to get kind of thing. <laughs> you know, so it takes time, it's a process. <laughs> so during that process, you know, hey, you can have a okay. What do you what what is it that you even want from mm -hmm. this thing? Are you ready to be committed? Are you ready to are you ready to you know be there throughout this time? Or then another thing is you can also have your family it is to come. But that's just a side note. What is your family background? Is your father committed? Is your father committed? I'm just kidding. Not the first day. I'm just kidding. I I hear where you're coming from. Like you put your like. Why the first date? But mm -hmm. I think it's important for for both for both genders to actually know. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this guy thinking well about his future or not? Because mm -hmm. now it doesn't matter in a way. The yeah. future matters a lot. So you've, like, seen, you've seen people ask questions. You know, mm -hmm. like you see a girl try been dating this guy for a while. And she's like, okay, so what are you thinking next for us? Mm -hmm. And the guy gets angry. What kind of question is that? Are we not already dating? That's mm -hmm. a red flag. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a red flag because this guy. He's using the you know the whole getting pissed thing yeah. to cover up for right. the fact that he doesn't want it. He doesn't. He mm -hmm. doesn't have a plan. He's not thinking about. Mm -hmm. it. He's mm -hmm. not thinking about the next few years. Mm -hmm. So he's using that thing to cover up. Mm -hmm. So some of these subtle signs, you know, you can see it, or maybe you still notice he's talking to his ex. Mm -hmm. You still notice he's talking to other girls. Mm -hmm. You know. So these that's, are what that's I the feel. sign of yeah. yeah. What, what other sign? I also think an, another sign is if the person is not, for instance, like um, making people know oh, you and it? them are together, yeah. either their family or their friends. Mm -hmm. Like if nobody knows mm -hmm. that you guys, let, let's keep this relationship secret. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that is a huge. Rate. Why do you want to? You know, there's a difference between privacy and secrecy. So why do you want to keep it a secret? So I think that's another red flag to notice why this person is, mm -hmm. yeah. and I, I would actually state it clearly for both genders. Mm -hmm. I don't think only guys or girls should for both genders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what other signs would, would you say you would look out for? Uh, I would say that I totally agree with the point that you brought up. If mm -hmm. the person is not showing you to his or her friends, is hiding you on all social media mm -hmm. and hiding, especially for after a while from the family. If you mm -hmm. see like maybe a year has passed and the family has no clue about you, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's also definitely, definitely a red flag. That's you're dating like after a year and the family knows nothing is a red flag. Yeah, I think so. Well, okay, everyone, uh, everybody has their time frames, right? Yeah. So it depends. Is it uh, uh, long distance relationships because mm -hmm. it's it's definitely another topic but long distance relationship they might require a bit more time mm -hmm. okay if you see one year is actually a long time well at least yeah your family should know do you have a girlfriend that's or do you have a boyfriend yeah. but if they don't know that then that should be, i think that okay. that yeah that should work yeah. but they have a side chick too you know have an idea about you it's it's also important mm -hmm. and i think we can watch out if the person is not ready to 
Um, I will not say to make your full priority, but if the person finds it difficult to find time for you, or I think it's. Uh, uh, you, of course, you might not be. We, we might have our priorities number one that we need to dedicate to. But I think if it's serious, you should be priority number two or number three at least. Okay. And mm -hmm. if the person for weeks cannot find time for you, I will. Did you say weeks? <laughs> two days is even too much. Well, for a text at least. At least for yeah. a text. No, but you know, in some uh, some cases, you'll see that the person is calling you only uh, closer to the night hours mm -hmm. and everything, and will start telling you that he or she misses you only at night. It's like, mm -hmm. ah, you know. Mm, no, not really. Not really. Uh, yeah, I, I think when you, when, like you said, when you notice that you know communication is not there, you know you're not you're not mm -hmm. priority anymore. Mm -hmm. The truth is, I used to in my past relationship, I would say something like, if you can find time, you know, to do other things, you can find time to drop a message. Sure. You can find time to drop a five minute call. You don't have to be all lovey dovey. You know, I'd be like, oh hey babe, um, I'm going to be busy today. Mm -hmm. or, Hope you're good, just take care of yourself, blah, blah, blah. Five minutes, or, you know, we talk about any other thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you know that, okay, this person is making me a priority, or is even thinking about me. But when you can go, like, four days or four weeks, you know, without even conversing. It's too long, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that people don't do it. That's but they give like, excuse. Yeah, 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 they say things like, oh, I was busy, I was having this meeting. If you're as busy as I am, I'm going from one board meeting to the other, I couldn't find time. Or you could send emails to yeah. those people that you're having meeting with. Mm -hmm. right? So what stops you from even, for instance, setting a reminder on your phone, let me send a message to my... Mm -hmm. To my to my boyfriend or to my girlfriend, mm -hmm. yeah. I know I'm busy. Like Kamala Harris right now, her husband is day. Mm -hmm. He's dead, but mm -hmm. I can imagine. He's like, oh, I'm now the vice president. I don't have time. You have more. Than that. Mm -hmm. You have more. You have more work than Kamala Harris. Of course. Of course. So please, the, you you would know from that point that there's no communication that this mm -hmm. person. When this one is mm -hmm. blaming. And, and I think the point of X is too. If this person has really not gotten over their ex, like. Mm. You know that there are some people. Mm. He's not texting his own vehicle, but he's mm. texting another like, girl back to back. If I that one, he's even ghosting him. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still pressing. <laughs> that's the thing. You don't have to have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But you have, you have you have 24 hours in the day to chat with another girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. Big, big one. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay, the next thing I would like to know is have any of you been in that position? Strategic question in the sense of have you been on the receiving position of someone not committing to you or or on the giving position where you're like I don't want to commit to this person yet. Yeah. I have been on the giving position to be honest because I was ready for a relationship. So I mean we liked each other but I kept on like I'm not going to ask you out. But I was clear from the beginning that we are not doing anything. We like each other but I'm not ready for this right now. Mm -hmm. So I've been on the giving end like I'm not ready to commit. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? I think for me, in, in the one of most recent memory was when I was maybe coming to Estonia, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that also shaped me moving forward when it comes to this long distance relationship thing. Yes, it was a very beautiful relationship back home, or I th when I got here, you know, I just noticed that the communication had gone down, even on my own part, but I was hustling. I didn't have time, but at that point, I was also crushing on somebody else. <laughs> so, but the excuse was, I was hustling, I was doing this, I was doing that, mm -hmm. you know, so, and one way or the other, she could feel it, mm -hmm. you know. I knew that personally, I wasn't committed to that relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything with any other person, mm -hmm. but it's just that I was now paying more attention, you know, mm -hmm. to another lady I was already liking, and... I had to chat with that one like almost all through the day. Mm -hmm. But then my own girlfriend, when she texts me or calls me, I'm like, okay, I'll call her later. I end up not calling, mm -hmm. you know, for like a day or two or stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, what triggered that was the distance. Because okay. I'm more of a physical person. Like, I prefer to see you, you see me. Mm -hmm. And then we're like in the same space. But the moment it's turning more into, you know, online conversations, mm -hmm. calls, mm -hmm. at that point, I'm like, man. What is the essence of pushing this further? Mm, okay. So at that point, when she was like, ah, I don't know where this thing is going, or maybe we should break up. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because I knew I wasn't, you know, committed to that relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. And it was, it would have been cruel of me to keep saying, oh, just let's let's see let's how keep. we can work on this. Let's see how we can work on this. And mm -hmm. 
Sorry, that's my own story. Mm-hmm. Did you see his voice? His voice came down. So you have never been in the receiving position? I think it was... I've been in a receiving position with a crush, you know, where you have a crush on someone and, mm-hmm. you know, you're trying, you're, you're giving your own, you're trying to, you know, penetrate and, and get that person to, mm-hmm. to, to, to reciprocate, but you just see, this person tells you they like you and stuff like that, but their actions don't show mm-hmm. okay. It's still the same thing, you know, maybe it was karma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, maybe it was karma. You know what we say about karma. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I, I've also experienced my own share a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But one thing I think people should learn to do is if you know you're not going to be with this person, if you know you're not really interested mm-hmm. in holding something meaningful with this person, mm-hmm. yeah, just so. move on. If you know you want to be a, you know, a man, H-O-E. Mm-hmm. Just be, be bo- do it boldly with your chest. Let them know. Let them know. You know instead of stressing mm-hmm. one lovely person mm-hmm. and making her feel like she's the main person and then mm-hmm. you just break their heart at the end of the day. It's mm-hmm. cruel. It is. It is. Deep story. <laughs> <laughs> well, about me, okay. Mm-hmm. I was out. There was a time when I was in uh, this receiving position. Mm-hmm. Ah, God. But I thank God every day that the person was not ready to commit. Trust me. Like every day. <laughs> I mean, now, after a few years, mm-hmm. you kind of can look to the situation being mm-hmm. above, like, mm-hmm. it's so you go, ah, uh, uh, thank God that it is the way it is, mm-hmm. so, yeah, but the way, uh, the, mm, the thing is that me, myself, I was also not really ready to mm-hmm. commit, I was pretty young then, okay. and I'm like, mm, I'm not ready to commit <laughs> yet, but uh, sometimes you live with this mentality, okay, I'm not ready right now, mm-hmm. but if, if this is some something serious, like, I can't be ready in a year or two, mm-hmm. so if this relationship kind of goes well, it might lead to something fruitful, but, uh, no, yeah, 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 it is what it is, <laughs> and uh, regarding the giving position, mm-hmm. uh, for me, it was usually happening uh, after maybe the first date. I never allowed it to go way too far. I told you I will see you on Sunday in church. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see me, you go to church, Bible study. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't really let it go too far. Mm-hmm. Usually, I did not let it. So, what do you think people can do to reduce the expectation on the other person um, regarding commitment, either a pre relationship or pre marriage? What do you think they can do? I think always, just on every stage of any relationship, whether mm-hmm. it is friendship or interpersonal relationship or different type of kind of relationship the discussion and talking, the dialogue is mm-hmm. important. So mm-hmm. it's normal if one will ask another the question, so where are we, where are we heading to? Mm-hmm. And you decide, uh, as we say in Russian, on the coast, you know, before you enter into the sea, you decide like where, how far can you go mm-hmm. and how, what uh, path are you choosing? Mm-hmm. And it's normal if people will uh, say like, okay, I'm interested, we might, Let's see, let's date for a while and then we decide for us. Some people, you know, for me it's some kind of madness, but some people are saying I'm against exclusive relationship, I am uh, monogamous is one, how how is polygamous, I'm polygamous, so if it's okay with you, let's do it like that. Some some would say we're just friends with benefits, if you're okay with that, let's let's go that way. So yeah, I think it's dialogue and just mm-hmm. talking, being open to each other. If there's no sincerity, mm-hmm. even at the beginning, it doesn't make any sense in my opinion. What do you think, David? That communication at the beginning is very, very, very important. Mm-hmm. If you start feeling something, say something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think both genders. I think guys and, and girls they respect when the opposite person they are dealing with knows what they want. Mm-hmm. So if you know what you want upfront, I'm not ready for a relationship right now. We could be having fun, but I'm not ready. Mm-hmm. Then you know that okay, if I don't want to have fun, I leave. Mm-hmm. And the other, the other person, person also knows that, okay, yeah, she's not ready to have fun. No, I want this then. Yeah, I think it's just defining uh-huh. what exactly it is. Uh-huh. And I think people should not be scared, as she said, of, of saying it uh-huh. and of breaking up. Because uh-huh. like, <laughs> or of terminating a crush. Like, once you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of good at that. Once I know that this person doesn't like me the same way, I just yeah. start working on how I'm going to terminate that feeling. And 
it works like really efficiently. And so. also, I don't know, it's not this point is not just black and white, but sometimes, mm -hmm. let me use this word, the platform where you meet the person, mm -hmm. it, it, should, it should somehow determine your expectations. Because mm -hmm. let's True. say if you go to the nightclub, mm -hmm. do people look like for really, really serious lifetime relationships? In nightclubs, mostly no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like I, I do have a friend who met a very nice guy at the nightclub, mm -hmm. and they, they dated for a while. They are married now, so it's not mm -hmm. black and white. But m most of the times, people are using uh, this pattern to find this one night relationship, mm -hmm. one night stand, and that's it. Uh, but I'm, I can't say that, for example, if you met somebody at the church, that means that oh. That's, that's for life, mm -hmm. that's for life, mm -hmm. yes, this person is the one, so yeah, but I think you should be also critical, you should use this critical thinking, where, where do you meet, where did you meet with the person? Yes, yes. Yeah. That's, 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 yeah. that, that's good, okay, yeah, he helps you shape or yeah. have a, uh, what's the word, so an opinion, yeah, 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 about the person. That's, that's really good. So that, that's good, alright, so, I'm going to throw out the banger here. Hey. <laughs> 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 if you are ready. I'll give this a time first. If you are ready and it's not, is that a bad thing? Also, you you think start thinking of your answer right now. If you're ready and it's not, is it is it a bad thing? Mm -hmm. And what would you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as we discussed before, uh, ladies tend to feel ready earlier mm -hmm. than guys, right? Mm -hmm. And not every lady will just go and start looking if I'm 20, let me find a 30 years old dude so he'll be ready mm -hmm. when I'm ready, let's get married now. So yes, sometimes you might see yourself in the relationship with the person that you you see so much passion, so much ambition about life and mm -hmm. you believe in the person with all your heart. But you feel that the person right now, the person is not ready, and you do feel that you you both are re really committed mm -hmm. to this relationship, and you both want to make it work. Mm -hmm. I think it's totally fine to wait a little bit because mm -hmm. marriage. Uh, my position at least about marriage, I marry once and for life. Mm -hmm. Life is long. <laughs> <laughs> I think my life will be long, you know. So, mm -hmm. so. Why, why rushing? Mm -hmm. If you, if you, of course, we, none of us can be one hundred percent sure that uh, it might transfer to marriage. But mm -hmm. if at the moment you feel that you're becoming better in this relationship, mm -hmm. if you're making the, another person better and you're helping them to arrive to this point of readiness, mm -hmm. I think it's totally worth it. Okay, nice one. Very mature point of view. David, what do you think? <laughs> if you are ready, and she is not. <laughs> That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a tricky question, but um, then again, it depends on it depends on you, uh, maybe the person you see that there is a potential that this person mm -hmm. would would grow into this relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes maybe you you are ready too fast. Mm -hmm. Have you also thought about it that it takes two persons to be in a relationship? Mm -hmm. So and we all have our times the person can get more committed before you or mm -hmm. i get committed before that person mm -hmm. so it's up to you to just be patient a little you know like uh, tanya mentioned you mm -hmm. know and just see maybe this would lead to something but like i said watch out for the signs mm -hmm. you can always see that okay maybe yes at this point this lady says she's getting her masters for instance mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, let me let me see how she gets her masters. Let's not put a, a tag on it, or let's not do the marriage thing, for instance. Mm -hmm. You know, moving forward, I will just be there, be the best that I can be for you. And mm -hmm. I see that yes, okay, she's also giving me that vibe. It's just mm -hmm. that you know that official thing is exactly. not there. Mm -hmm. So that I think yes, I could consider that, mm -hmm. but I would also get to a, to this age where. I might not be that patient anymore. Mm -hmm. That's life. Mm -hmm. You know, I might get to that age where as an African man, my mom is already asking, okay, how far? You're expecting babies. Yes. <laughs> and she's already like, is this fine girl here? Do you want to meet her? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you now, at that point, you now start the relationship with maybe like a 20 something year old mm -hmm. and the 20 something year old is like, oh, I want to get my master's, I want to get this, I want to get that, that, right. that, that. Bro. <laughs> so know what you want as a person. Sure. That's it for me. I already know what I want. I already mm -hmm. know that moving forward, 
you know, I'm not even in the game to play anymore. Mm-hmm. If I'm getting involved with you, I'm hoping that I could see a future with you. Mm-hmm. That's it for me at this point. So everybody's um, time, line, time yeah. is different. Mm-hmm. If you're a much younger person, I'm not old for those watching, but I'm not telling my age. I'm not old, but I'm already getting to that point where mm-hmm. this guy should already start thinking of settling down. So mm-hmm. I cannot get into any relationship right now that is just about playing around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's something that I can sense and see that this person, we're on the same page mm-hmm. and we're heading towards the same, same direction. direction. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's it for me personally mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, I also, I also think it's not a bad thing because, uh, yeah, based on discussion, you guys can know where you're heading. So, for instance, in marriage, they, don't want, they may not want to have a child like on the first year, in the first year of marriage. Mm-hmm. So, they may want to wait for long. So, you also need to, like, okay, if we get married here, this age, so we look at the timeline, know that, okay, I can still cope with it. Mm-hmm. And I think one important thing also is the reason. Mm-hmm. The reason, for example, if if the guy is saying uh, he wants to be like whiskey, he wants to be as rich as whiskey. Okay. Then, like, so that's not a, a good reason. How fast can you do it? <laughs> Where are you now? Yeah, you know, how fast can you get there? Yeah, yeah. This is this is a couple of years ago. I just remember that. So that's that's not a really like good reason for you to wait. Like. Okay, fine, I see your time waste and this can take you 10 years, I'm not ready to waste, yeah. waste 10 years. I, I usually have one story when mm-hmm. it comes to this issue of, you know, it has been a big, big discussion in Nigeria. Oh, mm-hmm. can you get married on 50k salary? Can you get married on 20k salary? Mm-hmm. See, I just I'm believe... Yours, I just believe... And 50k is like 100 and... Something you're... Okay. Oh, let's just say 100 euros okay. right now, actually. Chai. Yeah, it's 550. <laughs> 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 But what I just want to say is, I've seen someone who did it, mm-hmm. at the time he did it, you know, almost everything at his wedding was like done for him, you know, mm-hmm. friends were raising money and doing stuff, he got married on a 50k, I mean, they are going strong like almost three or four years now, mm-hmm. and the ones that married with one million, three billion in their account, you know, it's not working out for them. Mm-hmm. So, um, I think money shouldn't be a determining factor, mm-hmm. what should determine is the vision the goals that this person has mm-hmm. you know there's who that have like life vision you know, like people that don't tell the truth, truth you, know, yeah. you see them and they're like oh i have this or they're not doing anything towards it mm-hmm. but when you meet this person that you see that that person is actually working towards something you see mm-hmm. that this person is is pushing it like okay david is a photographer what have you been doing to push your goals yes david is studying film david is already mm-hmm. doing some stuff True. but then david you meet someone jack is like oh i, I, I want to be a photographer he doesn't even have a camera <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even learned how to edit Mm-hmm. Then you know that this one. <laughs> he can't see anything. He said he wants to do something fishy. Something fishy. Oh so, yeah. You know. <laughs> Okay, all right, that makes sense. And I really appreciate you guys being here today. That has been an interesting discussion. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> it's a spasiba. 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 Yeah, spasiba. spasiba. Oh, spasiba. Spasiba. Let's try another one. Can you say multumesque? Multumesque. 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 What's that? Multumesque. Multumesque. That's in my language. Thank you. Multumesque. Oh. Multumesque. 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 <laughs> all right thank you very much for watching it has been an interesting episode of conversation and i hope to see you next time in another video in another real talk and if you like what you see please like this video make sure you comment we want to know what you think about what we discussed today why he or she will not commit and share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed these two will come for you in your dreams. Both of them, look at them. They will come for you in your dreams. And torment you. Anyway, check out this. Please make sure you subscribe and to really help this channel. And thank you very much. Make sure you keep your soul beautiful. Peace out.